So it's been a hot minute since we've done a Disney inspired soap. And so as a result, we actually end up in the next 10 days with a whole bunch of them. So that's awesome. Today we are starting out with one of a whole bunch of them. But before I tell you about what bar and all of the things that went into this bar, hello, I'm Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things. And yeah, we're doing another Disney-inspired soap today. We are doing Merida for day 213 of 365 days of soap. And that's awesome. I love Merida. She is so strong and brave and curly and cool. And yeah, she's a lot of fun. So I am very excited to be doing this bar. Now, we had decided after we originally started the princess villain thing, and I did one, and then Georgia May just like took it and ran with it and did a whole bunch, that in order to make sure that we both get to play with the Disney inspired soaps, that we're splitting each little set, right? So if there's a villain associated with a princess, one of us does the villain, one of us does the princess, or sidekicks, or you know, whatever. So Georgia May will be doing the accompaniment bar to the Merida bar in a few days, but for today, we're doing Merida and uh, it's again, awesome. My uh, husband's ancestry is actually from Scotland. And so it's cool. I relate to that and the tartans and all of the shields and the clans and all the fun stuff. So we're definitely going to be incorporating tartans and all of that jazz into her design and her pour, but I really should be not talking about it here and we should go to the video so you can see it while I talk about it. So. It's Merida. I really think I should have Mr. Soap and Clay in here actually doing, you know, well, I mean, doing a Scottish accent um, for this as part of the video, because it could be fun, but because I don't know how to do accents. But to start out with this, I wanted to create the tartan for Merida's clan. And I'm going to do this using melt and pour that I've just cut into strips. And then I will pour clear melt and pour over these strips and then put more strips on top but running uh, you know sideways instead of lengthwise and continue just building it and then it will firm up and I will cut it into a kind of sash looking thing because I'm thinking for part of Merida's dress we'll make it look like you know like a sash with her clan colors and all the things for her tartan and yeah that'll be cool so embed going into this one but not a super huge embed so it should all be great and yeah, Merida. It's the Merida bar. That's pretty awesome because, you know, I it's Merida and I really loved Brave. Did you love Brave? When I first saw Brave, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. But then I went and watched it again years later when the Soap and Clay Kidlets were actually old enough to appreciate Disney movies. And yeah, it's really cool. And there are really fun... Uh, voice actors in there that I didn't, I didn't realize. Like, uh, Emma Thompson is Lady Eleanor. That's pretty awesome, right? And Kevin McKidd, Owen from Grey's Anatomy, is one of the lords, I think, MacGuffin. And yeah, so a lot of really cool voice actors in this one that I did not pick up on. And even after finding that out, I went back and listened and I still didn't super pick up on it. And, you know, Emma Thompson doing a Scottish accent. Awesome. Love that. And so the scent blend that I did for the Merida bar, I actually did a combination of two dupes that I've made uh, this year. One is flannel, 
from Bath and Body Works that I put in the Mary Bar earlier. So it smells like, you know, like freshly laundered sheets, really. You got some mahogany and a little bit of spice, some lavender and lemon. And then also the Magic Dupe that I did months and months ago. So that has, you know, the almond and the vanilla and some citrus notes. So it's just all around very cool. But the reason that I actually use them is because I wanted to do a, you know, flannel and magic. Both things exist within Brave, really. And so I, I picked this based on the name and the scent blend together. It's actually pretty amazing. Let's go check out this pour. So the pour for this, it's going to start out with an in the pot swirl that will go down for the base layer of her dress, like the golden green at the bottom of her dress. And then the ma majority of the bar itself is going to be, you know, her green. And there will be a brown section kind of midway up the bar for, you know, her belt. And then the sash essentially will hang from the belt. So her tartan will hang from the belt is my whole thinking with the whole thing. <clears throat> now this, also will be topped because, you know, Merida has that fabulous red hair, right? Will be topped with piped soap, red piped soap. And I am using for this a, um, so Mad Micas has a blend that is called True Red, right? And it's three of their Micas, well, three of their colors because they're not all Micas, mixed together in equal portions to create a quote unquote true red. And I have my own ways of getting red, right? So I've never, I've never picked this up, but I went, I was getting new micas and went, yeah, why not? I'll get, I'll try this true red blend. And so I picked up the true red blend. And so that's what I will be using for the piping of Merida's hair because yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with true red and see what we get for, for Merida's hair. And that is, you know, again, the sash that's going in now the, trying to be super careful to put the little V that I created in the bottom of them face down into some rather fluid soap batter so that that crevice can fill up with soap batter and we don't have too many holes that we have to repair afterwards. Even if there are holes, it's no big deal because I cut my soap super soft and so you can just kind of smoosh everything and fix it all up and that's awesome. But I still, you know, if I don't have to do touch-ups, that's all the better. And with this bar, I didn't really measure anything out as far as amounts for each section or whatever. I'm kind of just estimating it all. And you know, that, that can, that can go either way. It can be a success story. But the thing is, it's, if it's a success story and you didn't measure things out, you're now just flying blind forever and your recipe is never going to be really precise. And so I will never be able to, you know, punt this bar to Georgia May and say, okay, go do the Merida bar. And she looks at the recipe and the soaping notes and she won't have any measurements. So she too will be flying blind. So, you know, maybe should have measured it out. I usually do for all of my first pours, but for this one, I kind of just wanted to let the bar, the pour guide itself. And I, I really enjoy doing that just, you know, in general, because, you know, it's fun and Every once in a while, it's it's kind of a nice, cool, cathartic experience. And some of my most favorite bars are actually instances of the pour guiding the, itself. Like the Night's Wash is an example of that. I don't, I always have something in mind. I know what colors I want to do with the Night's Wash bar, but I always let that pour guide itself based on what I am thinking and how I'm feeling at the moment. And so as a result, the Night's Wash always looks a little bit different from batch to batch, which I think is cool. And the top here is just for the, you know, the, the gold line, the top of her dress, and then the hair will get piped on afterwards. Now with the hair, I'm not showing you another mix and doing of the things, although I don't think I showed it for this one. You, you guys got just straight, here's the soap batter for this. Some of these videos, when you have embeds and doing all of the things and the piping, they can get super long. And so, you know, I go to other videos and I show the lye and all of the things. I didn't do anything special for the lye blend. And for this oil blend, it's my current lots of lather. So it's Babasu Shea Coconut at 65% of the batch. And the remaining oils are liquid oils with olive and 
grape seed actually and hemp seed so kind of some greens going on within my lots of lather big bubble blend right now and yeah this is all ready to be piped and so again it's a sec it's a separate batch for the piping so i just did a little like one pound batch of soap for the piping and for piped soaps again you do not have to get fancy with it you just almost any any recipe will work almost any soap recipe will work and I like to mix it to like a thin to medium trace and then just walk away for 10 minutes just walk away and by the time you know that 10 minutes is up and you've done something else when you come back it will be the right consistency to put in a pipe uh, piping bag and do this but here's the thing that soap it doesn't look red and I followed the directions and I used it in equal parts each of the three you know whatever and I used it I don't know close to the ratios that you're supposed to for soap and the I never go max amount with uh with micas I, I don't I'm stingy with my micas and so I'm nervous about this because it does not look like it's going to really darken up and that makes me nervous because the red that I do and the way that I make my red I know that it will do what I want it to do and so this is hair this is Meredith's hair it totally has to be red it can't be pink it's got to be the very least orange right like this is not I'm nervous you guys this doesn't this true red blend from Mad Micah's uh, I mean I don't know it's my first time mixing it up and I'm not you know I mean sometimes I mess things up so we're gonna go with probably user error for this but this looks pretty pink that's not maybe it'll darken up during during a c-pop but ultimately I don't know this is like an hour later and it still wasn't darkening and so I just decided to do some soap surgery because again this is Merida's hair it can't be pink you can sell almost anything else as oh well it didn't quite go red or whatever and maybe it would have gone red in a c-pop maybe it would have but again hour into the into the c-pop this is what it looked like it was I don't think that was ever gonna go red so first attempt with the true red I was not a fan and so I'll try it again because again there's I always assume user error the first time and so I'll try it again but for this I essentially I had to make another batch of soap and do my red to make sure that it actually you know is the right color for her hair because it's Merida's hair it can't be pink it makes no sense like the rest of the bar and everything that's inside of it it could completely suck right it could be not at all what I wanted it to be as long as that red hair exists but if the red hair doesn't exist on the bar if it's pink and the inside sucks well then it's a whole failed batch of soap and so no so I'm just I made a new batch with my red and I'm going to you know I'm just piping a new one and gonna do the thing because I can't I can't run that risk I soap surgery sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do and that is one thing that you know I find interesting with first-time soapers and I guess I get it um, they're always afraid of their their soap like don't be afraid of your soap you do the things you know at the end of the day it's all still soap I mean that pink soap that I pulled off the top it's still soap so it got you know rolled into a ball and now it's a cool round soap in a scratch and dent you know a bits and bobs bag which is awesome so yeah, just kind of creating some wild hair going on here and I'm going to put this in the oven for C-pop and gel because I want that red to be nice and bright and awesome when it is all said and done and just, yeah, just gonna do some crazy things to kind of look like curls and whatever. It's not a super high top soap because I don't really like super high top soaps in general, but yeah, we're going to put this in the oven for C-pop and gel and we will cut it and see what we are dealing with inside and if the you know my red worked for her hair or if I still have a failed batch of of soap
And it is cut day, and that red looks good. I love that red. That thing is, that's totally perfect for Merida's hair. I think that absolutely works. I mean, I guess it looks more like maybe her brother's hair. Like that would definitely be a kid brother bar more than anything, just based on the top, because you know, Merida has quite long hair and I didn't do her hair all through the bar. I guess I could have, but I, I didn't. And that was actually a lot of effort for that. That's the, uh, it's interesting. I didn't really think that the, uh, the embed inside was too terribly big, but I guess my cutter thought otherwise. And yeah, that totally works. There's the belt and the dress and the tartan and all of the things. That's, that's awesome. And the hair absolutely worked, but you see what I mean? If that had gone pink, that would have been terrible. That would not have, no. So yeah, no, for the true red, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go back and I'm gonna try it again, obviously, with the formulation for the true red because Mad Mike is, Mad Mike is great. Like they have, their company is awesome and they're, you know, whatever. So I do not believe she would be marketing anything as a true red unless it was legitimately a true red. So I think I, I, I messed something up. And so I'm going to go back and try it again to see if I can get another, I, I, you know, if it still goes pink for me, or maybe that's just the nature of the blend because that happens a lot with micas. They get weird colors and fresh soap batter, but then as the saponification completes, they darken up to their, you know, their, their true state. And so maybe it's that too, but again, I couldn't risk it with Merida. And so we did some soap surgery and that bar, those bars are super adorable. I love that. Now for Merida, cause we've been doing princesses and villains, right? I don't feel like Merida really has a villain, right? I mean like the villain is herself. Maybe that would make sense. I, yeah. So we're going to have to work on that and see, you know, do we do, do we do a villain or do we do a sidekick? And I like the idea of doing a sidekick because that sounds like fun. And I'm having issues with these last three bars here because I broke my soap cutter. I broke my cutter. This reasonably brand new cutter that Mr. Soap and Clay made me. I did not think these embeds were going to be too terribly big that it couldn't handle it. And I was wrong. I was so, so, so wrong. I broke my freaking soap cutter. And that sucks. But luckily, I have a Mr. Soap and Clay. And Mr. Soap and Clay knows how to do all of the things. And one of the things that he knows how to do very well is fix the things that I break. And, you know, I should stop breaking things, but he will be happy to fix them for me. And I'm such a disaster, but yeah, going to have to get a new cutter or fix that one. But that is day 213 Merida scented with flannel plus magic, which is a really good blend together. You've got some cool notes as well as some citrus notes and some, it's all the things. It's very mystical. And I think that totally works. And there it is, the Merida bar, and it is super adorable. I love the hair. I also love how I got to show you guys some soap surgery. Now, that is one of the things that I tell, you know, new soapers all of the time. Don't be afraid of your soap. If you think something is going wrong, change your game plan on the fly, or don't be afraid to actually, you know, get in there and fix it. Where I was literally peeling the hair out to put the proper color red down. It's all good. At the end of the day, it all still becomes soap. So don't stress out about it too terribly much. If you're interested in the Merida bar, you can totally find it on the website at soapandclay.com. If you are interested in following me on social media, I'm there, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If you're interested in seeing what we come up with for Merida's accompaniment bar, you should subscribe to the channel and you'll get notified when we drop that video. It would be cool. It definitely helps me out and makes me super happy whenever I see a new sub. So, you know, hit the word and make me happy. For those of you who uh, have subscribed to me at this point, thank you for having made me happy. You really do. You are awesome human beings and I am very glad to know you. I am done for today. I will see you guys all again tomorrow for another round of 365 days of soap. Bye.